can't wait to start chowing down on this. I get mine over brown rice. It's my healthy thing for the day. It is divine. It's T-S-O, so it's sour. How do I pronounce it again? I must have 15 different spellings of so in my menu collection. If you start to talk about a business, it's in the billions of dollars. My customer can eat it seven times a week. Unbelievable. <laughs> You'd find a random Chinese restaurant in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden serving General Tso's chicken. How did that happen? I was surprised. I haven't seen it on a menu in China. <laughs> Is it good? General Tso? Did he love chicken? We don't know. Nobody knows. When Chinese food was completely new to America, Chinese restaurant owners adapted dishes to American taste. But this one dish just stuck out. It's part of American tradition now. Americans embrace certain ideas about ethnic food. They make it their own. In this ironic Chinese food has become comfort food. It replaced meatloaf and fried chicken. Did several people have the same idea at the same time? I have no idea. Timing is everything. The right man at the right time with the right dish. But whose dish was it? <laughs>